Hi everyone, this is Yang Joji. In this video, I would like to explain some tips and tricks for SAT math problem. If you find this video helpful, please like and share. Alright, let's do it. Okay, so the first tip I want to share is solving square root problems, square root equations. You always have to check for the extraneous solution. Okay, let me show you one example. In this example, they give you a square root equation like this x minus 12 equal to square root of x plus 44. Okay, so when we solve it, we have to, we are supposed to square in both sides, right? So I want to do that. And then it will be a square minus 24x plus 144 equal to square will be removed x plus 44. Okay, so it will be like a square minus 24x minus a plus 144 minus 44 equal to 0. So a square minus 25x plus 144 equal to 0. Then you are going to factor it. A is x, 100 is 20 into 5 minus minus. So you will get a is equal to 20 and a is equal to 5. Okay. And most students are mistaken, like you know, once they get the answer 20 and 5, they are gonna look at the answer choices and there is also that they are gonna choose T. You see, 5 and 20. But that is wrong. You have to be careful about that. You always have to check for the extraneous solution. When is extraneous? In this case, let's check 20. So here will be x uh, no, x is 20 now. 20 minus 12 equal to the square root of 20 plus 44. So it is 20 minus 12 is 8. This one is 64. It will be plus or minus 8. Okay? And now let's check another one. Just 8. Uh, sorry. They don't, they don't put plus or minus at first. So it is okay. So this one is the correct solution. Okay, now let's check another one. Uh, 5 minus 12 equal to 5 plus. This is 5. 5 plus 44. So it, it will be, this will be minus 7. And this will be 49. So minus 7 equals 7. See, this is wrong. So the correct answer is 20 only. This is the wrong answer. See, you have to be careful about that. Solving, I will say again, in solving square root equation, you always have to check for the extraneous solution. Okay, let me show you another example. Okay. Let me erase this. This one is 2 root x equal to x minus 3, okay? So, as usual, we do squaring the both sides when we solve it. So, it will be 2 square is 4, and then a square, square root of a square will be x. And you get this a square minus 6x plus 9. Then you're going to move uh, a square minus 6x, positive 4x, negative 4x plus 9. So it will be a square minus 10x plus 9. Okay, so I'm gonna factor it x x 9 1 minus minus. So you will get x is equal to 9 and x is equal to 1. So the common mistake students make is they were gonna look at the choices and they were gonna see there is t and they wanna choose it. And that is wrong. Okay, you have to check it for extraneous solution always for the square root. Equations. Okay, let me check now. 2 square root of 9 equal to 9 minus 3, which is 2 times 3 equal to 6. 6 is equal to 6. This is the correct solution. Okay, let's check another one. 2 square root of 1 equal to, equal to uh, 1 minus 3. Square root of 1 is 1, so it is 2 and negative 2. This is the wrong answer. Wrong answer. So the correct answer is C, not D. Okay, you have to be very careful about that. Okay, the second tip I want to share is about solving simultaneous equations. Equation 1 and equation 2, in, especially in nine calculator part. Okay, let me find the problem. Okay, yeah. So this one usually comes in uh, nine calculator part, uh, 13R. 
13 r plus 8v equal to 47 and 22v equal to 63 minus 17r. They give you that. The question is, they ask you this, r plus v equal to question mark. You want to find out? So like, most students try to solve it like the long way, but it's a main integrator part, the numbers are big. You know, remember, always try to add or subtract the equation just like that. Don't change, don't try to change anything. Okay, I'm gonna do this first. R plus 8V equal 47. And so V is 22, V is here. And 17 are right, 17 are always gonna move it here, so it will be 17 negative, I mean, negative change to positive, and 63. Okay, so see that, you know, if you add it, you will get 30 here, 30 R. See here, you will get 30 V, plus 30 V. So you are gonna see the pattern. Always try adding or subtracting things. Don't try to guess all, like elimination method and substitution method. Don't try yet. First, First, look at, you can repeat it. If you edit, they're gonna be same pattern. You know, try to do that first. So, uh, I'm gonna add this, it will be like 110. So you see, they want this, you can give them just by dividing with 30. It's first star, right? So I'm gonna divide by 30. So this 30 will be canceled, so you will get R plus V. This zero and zero cancel, 11 over three is the answer. It's very fast. So, I will say again, when there is simultaneous equation problems in non calculator part, you have to uh, add it, you have to add, try adding, and see for the pattern, or subtracting, or see what the pattern first, okay? That's the idea. Let me show you another example. Let me do this first. Three a plus two b equal to twenty four. Three a plus two b equal to twenty four, and four a plus five b equal to thirty three. Okay, this one. So the what they want is a plus b equal to question mark. Now it's the same way. You know, you don't don't try to cancel it or elimination. Don't do it. Just add it first. You see, four plus three is seven. Very simple. Easy and quick. Plus five plus two is seven B, and then you get like seven, and this one will be seven, seven seven. So we want A plus B. We we can give them just by dividing by seven. See, A plus B equal to eleven. That's the answer. You know, we have only around, uh, about more than one minutes. You know, one point around one point one or one point two minutes for one problem. So we better know the quick ways. Okay, so let me show you. Okay, when solving the inequality or equation, uh, sometimes it is easier to just substitute a number and see if it is if it fits or not. You know, uh, for inequality also, just plug in some number and you are gonna find out. Okay, let's see this one. C minus one the whole square less than thirty six. What they want is greatest integer. Greatest integer solution, they said. Greatest integer solution, so we normally we're gonna do the proper square thing and then do the separate calculation. And that is gonna take so long. So what we do here is just plug in the number. So let's see, uh, C is one. So what it will be like, what will happen? One minus one square, it will be zero, right? Zero, so it will, it will fit the situation, you know? Must be more than one, less than 36. Okay, so I was gonna try with two. So two minus one the whole square, 36. Two minus one is one. So it doesn't, still doesn't fit yet, okay? So I'm gonna change it to three. Three minus one is two, two square. Two square will be four and one, 36. It fits. Is it fits? But they want the greatest. They want the answer to be greater. So can it be greater? We think. So it can be, right? We can plug in four or five like that. So I'm gonna try with five. They want a bigger solution, okay? So five minus one, the whole square, it will be four square, it will be sixteen. 
sustain is one more than sixteen is the correct. But we want the greatest answer. So I will gonna try with six. So it will be six minus one squared. Six minus one squared is five. Uh, five squared, the twenty-five. If we do with six, we will get twenty-five. Thirty-six. It also correct. Okay. So how about seven? So seven minus one, so it will be seven minus one, the whole square, one, two, thirty-six. It will be thirty-six. Yeah, six, six squares, so six squares, so thirty-six. So it won't fit anymore. So this is the correct solution. One C is equal to five. Okay. So don't always try to solve it. Just plug in some numbers and see it fits the situation. I it it fits the inequality or equation. Okay. So let me show you another one. A cardinal has a cultivated plot that measure four feet by six feet. Next year, she wants to double the area of her plot by increasing the length and width by x feet. What's the value of x? Okay. So cardinal has a plot rectangular plot. Okay. So which is four feet and six six feet. This is like this six feet here, four feet here. So what we wanna do is. He wanna do is he wants she wants to double the area. She wants to double the area. So okay, that's it. I will wanna draw it a little bit bigger. So what we wanna do is uh, increasing the length and width by x feet. So it will be six plus x feet, yeah? and then four plus x feet, yeah? six plus x, four plus x. Okay. So this area is twenty four. Four times six twenty four. So they want the double area. So usually we do, what we do is like we 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 are gonna time to it like you know the long way with algebra. If you time say it will be like six plus x plus four plus x, and you will get this area, and then this area is twenty four, and then that will be double. So you have to times with two, okay? So this is gonna take long. So what we do is just try plugging in. Right? Let's say x is one, so it will be seven, right? And here x is one. So it will be five. Seven times five, what you get? Thirty-five. Is it double? No, right? So it is not one. So we're gonna think about two, like that. You have to get double. So it is twenty-four. Double twenty-four is forty-eight, right? You have to get forty-eight here. That's what you get forty-eight here. So how about two? So it will be eight, and two here it will be six. X is forty-eight. So X is equal to two. You know, this is way faster than doing like this. So sometimes you have to like try plugging in numbers, which is better. Okay. And next one. Our next one is about uh, the table. Okay, look at this one. In 2013, U.S. Census recorded the highest education attainment of all adults aged 25 years or older in country T. One of the most educated part of the country results are given in the two-way table below. So, according to the data we presented in the table above, if you were chosen a person at random out of the entire population, you know the keyword, out of the entire population, population. Uh, out of the entire population, age 25 years or older, you get 3D. What's the approximate probability? So probability, okay, let me erase this first. So probability is number of favorable outcome, number of possible outcome. So you have to do that, all possible outcomes. You have to think about this very carefully. This one, what they say is, Entire population. So entire population. So you will have to put the entire population, which is two two zero five three two. That's the entire population. And what they want is choose a man with doctorate degree. Doctorate degree. Choose a man with doctorate degree. So it will man the first column and doctorate degree, which is sixteen two three two. Sixteen two three two. And then you want to find probability is times with one hundred. Okay, so if you you have to be careful. Sometimes they don't say like this. Today is okay. I I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna give you another example. It will be more clear. Okay, so another example would be this this one. Candidate A, candidate B, and the desired photo. The table above illustrates the results of a political poll. 
500 voters were first asked whether they were registered as Democrat, Republican, or Independent. The voters were then asked whether they planned to vote candidate A for candidate B or undecided. What percent of the registered Democrat plans to vote for candidate A? Okay, so here is what percent of registered Democrat? Registered Democrat, the keyword. So registered Democrat is ready. Choose a keyword very carefully, 150. Right? Not 500. If we choose 500, you are going to get wrong. And candidate A is 24. See? That's the correct answer. You want to find a percentage, I say 100. No? So always be careful about the where, where you put the denominator. Denominator. So the first, they, they say the entire population. So uh, you have to choose that. Write the entire population as a denominator. For this one, they said only, uh, they said only, uh, what percent of registered Democrats? Registered Democrats. So we choose only registered Democrats. Yeah. Okay? So those are the tips and tricks and the common mistake made by the students. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you soon.